right guys moment of truth I am doing a test run on incremental bed leveling so what what I'm doing what I what I did was I took the G code and ran it through a processor that generated a bunch of touch points that kind of cover the uh, print area and um, what I actually did was just read every XY coordinate from the G code and I would add it to a point list if it was more than 30 millimeters from any other point I had in a point list and then I got this um, this pattern right here I could do some reorganization of these points um, to make it a little bit more efficient right now it's just going around the perimeter and eventually it's gonna go um, and start doing internal points And the uh, beauty of incremental bed, uh, bed leveling is that you only have to probe points over the part where you're going to print. And every time you add a point, it updates your leveling solution. So you could print, you could uh, level one area, print one place, uh, go level another place later, and print on that spot. You don't have to, you know, do that one operation at the beginning of the print. So this would be really good for like sequential. Um, sequential printing and stuff like that okay so i'm super nervous i hope i get this uh layer <laughs> this will be the first successful run of this if it if it happens and the, the code's kind of gross right now and i'm still working out some bugs so if i get anything we'll call it a win uh, looks like we are getting the first layer coming online. Not too shabby. Looks like we have a little variation in height, but I think we're going to get a first layer. I think some of this might just be the filament kind of working itself out. we're gonna get it. If we can get around this corner without losing the filament, I think think we're gonna be okay. <laughs> Heck yeah. Alright, so this print is 450 millimeters long. 450 millimeters long. And believe me, there has to be some smarts in that box for this to happen I this plastic is not lined up perfectly enough to be able to actually pull this off so there you can't see it but this is doing micro adjustments in the Z as it moves from place to place it has to be I mean I've done test prints before and I know they haven't come out so I mean they've come out if I squish down that first layer you know and <laughs> you know really babysit that first layer and push push up on the effector in some parts and push down on other parts and you know you can <laughs> I think we've all done it where we we can eke out that uh, that print but uh, this I'm not touching at all all right and this is going to print the word testing across here and I have um, a time-lapse video going so I will play it a little bit later on all right we're going to the internal letters now all right there was some other stuff on the table already but uh, looks like it's doing fine Oh yeah. All right. So incremental bed leveling. You can probe where you want, print where you want, probe later, at, update your solution, clear out your solution if you want to. I think this is the way to go in the future. Especially if you don't have a grid build platform like this. There's no reason to like probe every point you could possibly go to or just a small rectangular region. So, anyways, check out the time lapse. Alright, we are finishing up our first layer. 
and it is good. Most of it's flawless. Uh, there's one little blip here. That could just be uh, I didn't quite have the right probing density. I could just up it a little bit. And it's also on painter's tape and sometimes it, it's, it's a little finicky on sticking. But, man, <laughs> he got the whole first layer with a minimal of points. I think there was only uh, 16. I guess I'd have to go back and actually count. Uh, but not that many points. Alright, and um, it's been going pretty slow, and I wanted to go slow on the first layer, you know, because you go slow on the first layer, but uh, just so I can show you guys speed on this, let me ramp it up. Let me reach behind here and run the dial. I think I went the wrong way. Alright, I'm pretty sure I'm telling to go like 400% or something like this. It's accelerated, acceleration limited, so um, it's not going to go super fast, but um, you can see that there is, there is some speed potential. And I've, I've, um, <coughs> I've upped the acceleration too, but I need a slightly uh, uh, more rigid bot to be able to up it too much more. So, if you want to print fast, you can. Uh, you're not going to get the best quality if you go fast. Um, you'll have to go slow on those outside perimeters. On the inside of a print, you can go as fast as you want, I would say, on this printer. So, anyways, there you go.